I can't tell you who I am, but I can tell you who I'm not. I'm not an artist, I'm no filmmaker, no cyclist, and not the adventurous type. I'm just a regular woman who woke up one morning and decided to leave home for one month. It was time to breathe some fresh air. It was time to be alone and time to let my thoughts wander. When I left, I didn't know that I'll be gone for good. This is my journey and my 10,000 kilometers of chasing a fulfilled life. This is me, right before jumping into the biggest adventure of my life. It is summer 2021 and I want to cycle from Germany to Spain. I cycle, I eat and I sleep. And that's all that I want to do. I don't want to have appointments. I don't want to take care of anything. I want to be alone, I want to cycle, and I want to eat and sleep. This state lasts for exactly four days. Four days of being alone, four days of cycling, and bam, I met people who were like me. Okay, so hey-ho, let's go together. Kilometer for kilometer, I feel the joy and happiness flooding my body. I change, my mind becomes playful and joyful, and nothing can stop me. There is one thought that keeps coming back to my head. It just keeps coming back. Why can't I live like that for like forever? Why? I don't have an answer and I don't have any reason to stop cycling. I do not want to return. I do not want to return to a place where I don't belong. I do not want to return and wake up every morning and feel the emptiness eating me alive. I do not want to feel useless and I do not want to waste my life any longer. I made my decision and my decision is certain. I want to live a life on the road and I need to live a life on the road. Long story short, I fly back home, I sell all my belongings, I quit my job and I say goodbye to friends and family. I know that it is the right decision and it's time to breathe fresh air, time to be alone and time to let my thoughts wander. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise the sun. Step two. I am back on the bike and back on the road. I want to make my way along the Spanish coastline and somehow it's not time to be alone. I have wonderful encounters, I meet extraordinary people. But now you got it. But now I got it right. <laughs> oh my god, I can't stop. I can't stop. Thank you. Morning, what are you doing? Was machst du hier? Ja, mein Name ist Rick, 37 Jahre alt. Ich habe mir mal überlegt, spazieren zu gehen. Ich wollte mir nur mal einen Kaffee holen und das geht jetzt schon seit drei Monaten so. Rick ist da. Er ist total da. Und es ist nicht no fun. Seriously. I learn a lot about various kinds of lifestyles. Life gives me the opportunity to share time with like-minded people and I'm learning my lesson of farewells. Whenever I get to meet someone, no matter how special the connection is, there will be a moment of saying goodbye. Cheerio, Jai, cheerio. I'll see you in another lifetime somewhere. I'm realizing that farewells don't have to be said. So it is time to say goodbye. And for the first time in months, I'm on my own. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three. It is the end of November 2021. Days are getting colder and I'm freezing my ass off each and every night. As I don't have a destination, I decide to take a ferry to reach the Canary Islands. I just bought the ferry ticket. So let's go to Tenerife. I have to get ready, um, pack my stuff and then sleep one more night in the hostel and then I'm off. Temperatures around 20 degrees each and every day. Perfect for a life on the road. Somehow, I don't feel satisfied. Somehow, I don't feel the life on the road. And somehow, I realize that I cannot run away or cycle away from my feelings or emotions. I spent my first week in a hostel. Uh, to be honest, I felt really, really low. I was just sitting in the corner. I did nothing. I was in a bad mood. I'm surrounded by palm trees and <laughs> what I do is sitting in the corner and I don't know, ponder about life. Most of the time I was just uh, a little asshole to myself, I don't know. I left home because I didn't want to feel the emptiness inside myself. And now here I am on an island and I don't know how to handle my negative feelings. But once more, it is not time to be alone. Once more, I have wonderful encounters and I meet very special humans.
quite normal, right? And it's yeah. like, no, nah, I'm just gonna sell or get rid of or store whatever I have, get on the bike and stay on the bike. <laughs> <laughs> and that's gonna be my home, you know? I mean, like, that's quite crazy. And I'm gonna do it alone, even though I'm in a van, you're on a bike. There is some common themes, right? You are traveling alone most of the time. Of course, we meet people, we meet friends, and then you, you tag along for some time with somebody, but then you split up. But in the end, we are traveling alone. As I'm riding my bike in circles around the islands, month by month, I realize that I need to get back to the mainland to continue my journey. I'm telling myself that I will be ready to leave these wonderful islands after getting up to the highest peak of the islands, El Teide. This is going to be the hardest challenge of my whole journey. Three days, 70 kilometers, 3,715 meters, minus 10 degrees. My whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanna be great I made it to the peak. Uh, I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm so proud of myself. This, this uh, was the hardest thing I've done so far in my life, uh, physically. Um, and yeah, I just I don't know what to say. I'm over over. I'm overwhelmed today. I proved myself that I am capable of doing almost anything. Like, <laughs> nothing can stop me. It is March 2022, and now I'm ready to leave the islands. I'm ready to continue my journey on the mainland. I'm at the harbor. Uh, here's my stuff, and I just went to the wrong port. My ferry is leaving in 30 minutes, and I don't know where to go. I am on the ferry now. I made it, and I'm gonna uh, make my way to deck four I guess and yeah then let's see I have the uh, one day and seven hours here I'll see you on the mainland it is March 2022 and I continue cycling on the mainland weird weather becomes my friend and I start cycling towards Portugal it is time to breathe some fresh air time to let my thoughts wander and time to be alone okay no I'm kidding once again it is not time to be alone and I'm gifted with amazing company Sometimes a situation changes within the glimpse of an eye, and so does mine. I get sick, I can't keep on cycling, and I need a roof over my head to recover. I'm at my weakest, the weather is bad, I'm freezing, I don't know what to do, and I'm alone. Um, the crybaby is back. I just woke up this morning and I realized, nope, I cannot ride my bike. <coughs> Sorry. I was sick for four days and then I started cycling too soon. And yeah, my belly is not feeling good. Yeah, I just, I don't feel good. I think I just want to lay down for two days and recover again. And I cycled 19 kilometers and now it's only 15, 15 more kilometers to my uh, destination because I found a cheap room. And I'm really struggling to get back on my bike. Uh, to do these freaking 15 kilometers. I mean, it's almost nothing, but um, I'm struggling. I'll go find um, the accommodation and then, I don't know. I really don't know what's going on. Now it's time to be alone. Now it's time to let my thoughts wander. Now it's time to recover. It is May 2022 
I'm back on the road and I do have a destination. I make my way through Spain, France, Belgium and the Netherlands to reach Germany after being abroad for one year. For these last two months I travel solo. I travel by myself. I cycle, I eat and I sleep. I see wonderful places and I'm in tune with myself. I'm independent, I'm on the road and I am who I want to be. I'm getting closer to the place I call home. I'm coming back as a strong, open-minded, confident woman. I know what I'm capable of and I know that I can trust myself, my intuition and my inner strength. I know that my heart belongs to the road and I learned that I don't need anyone to live a life on the road. I am enough. But I do know that the best memories are related to these wonderful people I met. I believe that we create our life. I think most people who go on a journey like this, they want to find something. Feeling of freedom. Just do it. Don't be afraid. I'll keep going. I can't stop. Hablar realmente de la vida. It is creating miracles. It's about sharing, listening, laughing, being honest, being close, being real. It's about love and friendship and deep connections. It's about being friends for days or weeks or months. And sometimes these friendships do last for a lifetime. It's also about trust and anger and sadness and disappointment. I trust the process. I trust the story. I trust the path. And therefore, today, I can tell you who I am. I'm a woman who woke up one morning and decided to leave home for a month. Today, I'm an artist, I'm a filmmaker, and I'm the adventurous type.